Welcome to the dark and fascinating world of 1970s vampire movies. This era brought a wave of innovative and captivating films that redefined the vampire genre. From atmospheric, gothic tales to stylish modern interpretations, the 1970s provided a diverse range of vampire stories that continue to thrill and delight audiences to this day. So join me as we explore the best vampire films of this hauntingly beautiful decade. Directed by John Badham, Dracula is a gothic horror film that presents a faithful adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel. The film stars Frank Langella as Count Dracula, who travels from Transylvania to England to spread the undead curse and find new blood. Langella's portrayal of Dracula is captivating, blending charisma with menace, making him one of the most memorable incarnations of the character. Dracula is praised for its production design, particularly the eerie atmosphere of Castle Dracula and the iconic costume design. The film's score by John Williams adds to the haunting ambience, enhancing the sense of dread and mystery. Directed by Werner Herzog, Nosferatu, Phantom der Nacht is a reimagining of F.W. Murnau's classic silent film Nosferatu, 1922. The film stars Klaus Kinski as Count Dracula, and Herzog's interpretation brings a sense of melancholy and existential dread to the character. Kinski's performance is haunting, capturing the essence of the vampire as a tragic figure cursed with immortality. Herzog's direction emphasizes the isolation and desolation of the vampire, contrasting Dracula's immortality with the decay of the world around him. The film's cinematography and use of locations in Czechoslovakia add to the atmosphere, creating a sense of unease and foreboding. Directed by Paul Morrissey and produced by Andy Warhol, Blood for Dracula is a unique take on the vampire mythos. The film follows Count Dracula, played by Udo Kier, as he travels to Italy in search of virgin blood to sustain him. However, Dracula's quest is complicated by the fact that he can only feed on virgins, leading to darkly comedic and tragic situations. Blood for Dracula is known for its dark humor, satirizing the vampire genre and exploring themes of class struggle and morality. Udo Kier delivers a memorable performance as Dracula, portraying him as a pitiful figure trapped by his need for blood. Directed by George A. Romero, Martin is a psychological horror film that explores the life of Martin, a young man who believes he is a vampire. The film blurs the lines between fantasy and reality, leaving the audience questioning whether Martin is truly a vampire or simply suffering from mental illness. Martin is praised for its gritty realism and atmospheric cinematography. Romero's direction creates a sense of unease and ambiguity, keeping the audience on edge throughout the film. John Amplos delivers a haunting performance as Martin, portraying him as a complex and sympathetic character. House of Dark Shadows is a horror film based on the popular television series Dark Shadows. Directed by Dan Curtis, the film follows the story of Barnabas Collins, a 200-year-old vampire who is released from his coffin and returns to his ancestral home, Collinwood. As Barnabas tries to reintegrate into society, he becomes entangled in a series of tragic events that threaten to expose his true nature. The film is praised for its gothic atmosphere, eerie soundtrack, and faithful adaptation of the television series. Jonathan Frid delivers a captivating performance as Barnabas Collins, portraying the character with a mix of charm and menace. Taste the Blood of Dracula is a Hammer horror film and the fifth installment in the Dracula series produced by Hammer Films. Directed by Peter Sazdy, the film follows a group of wealthy Englishmen who seek thrills by dabbling in the occult. They inadvertently resurrect Count Dracula, who seeks revenge on them for their involvement in a ritual that resulted in the death of one of his disciples. The film is known for its lush cinematography, gothic atmosphere, and Christopher Lee's iconic portrayal of Dracula. Lee's performance adds a sense of gravitas to the character, making Dracula both menacing and charismatic. Count Dracula's Great Love is a Spanish horror film directed by Javier Aguirre. The story follows a group of travelers who seek refuge in a remote castle during a thunderstorm, only to discover that the castle is inhabited by Count Dracula and his brides. As the night unfolds, the group becomes ensnared in a web of terror and seduction as Dracula seeks new victims to satisfy his thirst for blood. The film is notable for its eerie atmosphere, evocative set designs, and chilling performances, particularly by actor Paul Nashi as Dracula. Nashi brings a sinister charm to the role, portraying Dracula as a captivating and menacing figure. The Vampire Lovers is a British horror film directed by Roy Ward Baker and based on J. Sheridan Le Fanu's novella Carmilla. The film follows the story of Carmilla Karnstein, a female vampire who preys on young women in 19th century Austria. When Carmilla targets the daughter of a general, a series of events is set in motion that leads to a confrontation between Carmilla and those seeking to stop her. The film is known for its gothic atmosphere, sensual undertones, and strong performances, particularly by Ingrid Pitt as Carmilla. Pitt's portrayal adds depth to the character, making Carmilla both alluring and menacing. 
Twins of Evil is a British horror film directed by John Hoff and starring Peter Cushing. The film follows twin sisters Maria and Frida, who are sent to live with their strict uncle Gustav Weil. Unknown to Gustav, Frida is seduced by the charms of Count Karnstein, a local vampire. As Frida becomes more entangled with the Count, Maria seeks the help of Gustav and a vampire hunter named Baron Meinster to save her sister from damnation. The film is known for its gothic atmosphere, striking visuals, and strong performances, particularly by Cushing as the determined vampire hunter Gustav Weil. Twins of Evil is a compelling tale of good versus evil, with themes of temptation, corruption, and redemption. Flesh for Frankenstein is an Italian horror film directed by Paul Morrissey and produced by Andy Warhol. The film is a unique take on the classic Frankenstein story, set in Serbia in the early 19th century. Dr. Baron Frankenstein is obsessed with creating the perfect Serbian race, and he sets out to create a male and female zombie to mate and produce offspring. However, his plans are complicated when his creations rebel against him. The film is known for its graphic violence, dark humor, and unique interpretation of the Frankenstein mythos. Flesh for Frankenstein is a cult classic that pushes the boundaries of the horror genre and offers a twisted and thought-provoking take on the classic tale of science gone wrong. The Werewolf vs. Vampire Woman, also known as La Noche de Valpurgis or The Valpurgis Night, is a Spanish horror film directed by Leon Klamowski. The film follows Elvira, a young student researching the legend of Countess Juan de Sadarvula de Nadesti, who was rumored to be a vampire. Elvira and her friend Genevieve travel to a remote castle where they accidentally revive the Countess, who then seeks to resurrect her lover, a werewolf. The film is known for its gothic atmosphere, eerie settings, and classic monster showdowns. It combines elements of traditional vampire and werewolf lore with a unique twist, creating a suspenseful and entertaining horror experience. Vampire Circus is a British horror film directed by Robert Young. The film is set in a small village plagued by a deadly plague spread by the vampire Count Mitterhouse. In response, the villagers rise up and kill the Count, but not before he curses them and vows to return. Fifteen years later, a mysterious circus arrives in town, led by a group of supernatural beings seeking revenge for the Count's death. The film is praised for its atmospheric cinematography, colorful characters, and eerie circus setting. Vampire Circus is a unique and stylish entry in the vampire genre, blending elements of gothic horror with a twisted and imaginative storyline. Lust for a Vampire is a British Hammer horror film directed by Jimmy Sangster. The film is a part of the Karnstein trilogy, loosely based on the Carmilla novella by Sheridan Le Fanu. It follows the story of a young woman named Mirkala who arrives at a finishing school, only to discover that she is the reincarnation of Carmilla, a centuries-old vampire. As Mirkala's true nature is revealed, she becomes a target for vampire hunters and must fight to survive. The film is known for its gothic atmosphere, lush cinematography, and seductive portrayal of vampires. Lust for a Vampire is a stylish and atmospheric vampire film that explores themes of lust, power, and immortality. Daughters of Darkness is a Belgian horror film directed by Harry Kummel. The film follows a newlywed couple, Stefan and Valerie, who encounter the enigmatic Countess Bathory at a deserted hotel. As the couple becomes entangled in the Countess's dark and seductive world, they soon realize that she is not what she seems and that they are in grave danger. The film is praised for its atmospheric cinematography, haunting score, and strong performances, particularly by Delphine Seerig as the mysterious Countess. Daughters of Darkness is a unique and stylish vampire film that explores themes of sexuality, identity, and the allure of immortality. Salem's Lot is a television adaptation of Stephen King's novel of the same name, directed by Tobe Hooper. The story follows author Ben Mears as he returns to his hometown of Salem's Lot, only to discover that the residents are falling victim to a vampire epidemic. As the town is overrun by the undead, Ben and a small group of allies must fight to survive and defeat the ancient evil that threatens to consume them all. The film is praised for its eerie atmosphere, strong performances, and faithful adaptation of King's novel. Salem's Lot is a chilling and suspenseful vampire film that explores themes of fear, loss, and the supernatural. Blackula is a black exploitation horror film directed by William Crane. The film follows an African prince, Mamuald, who is turned into a vampire by Count Dracula in 1780. After being awakened in modern-day Los Angeles, Mamuald, now known as Blackula, seeks to find love and redemption while battling his insatiable thirst for blood. Blackula is notable for its unique take on the vampire genre, incorporating elements of African folklore and mythology. The film is praised for its social commentary, strong performances, and memorable soundtrack. Blackula is a groundbreaking film that explores themes of race, identity, and the struggle for acceptance in a prejudiced world. Valerie and Her Week of Wonders is a surreal and atmospheric Czechoslovakian film directed by Jeremil Gyres. 
The film follows the story of a young girl named Valerie who experiences a series of fantastical and often disturbing events over the course of a week. As Valerie navigates through a dreamlike world filled with vampires, witches, and other mystical creatures, she must confront her own coming of age and sexuality. The film is praised for its stunning visuals, haunting score, and enigmatic narrative. Valerie in her Week of Wonders is a unique and evocative exploration of themes such as innocence, desire, and the loss of childhood. The film's dreamlike atmosphere and surreal imagery create a captivating and unforgettable cinematic experience. Count Yorga, Vampire is a horror film directed by Bob Kelgen. The film follows the story of Count Yorga, a vampire who preys on the residents of Los Angeles. When a group of friends becomes entangled in the vampire's deadly web, they must fight for their lives against this ancient evil. Count Yorga, Vampire is praised for its atmospheric tension, eerie mood, and chilling performance by actor Robert Corey as Count Yorga. The film is a modern take on the vampire mythos, set in contemporary California and featuring a more seductive and sophisticated vampire than traditional portrayals. Count Yorga, Vampire is a classic of 1970s horror cinema, known for its stylish direction and effective scares. So, did you like the movies I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. Thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.